Hi, this is Sean with OMU Energy, and today we're gonna to show you how to upgrade and replace the 12 volt battery in your GMC Sierra Denali EV. So these are GMC's more luxury based pickup truck in the electric vehicle line. And they're very cool. I mean, I love all of the Ultium platform trucks because of the huge battery and what that enables you to do when it comes to doing truck stuff like towing. This is an extended range. So it's got the 24 module battery, which is 240 kilowatt hours of juice. Uh, they don't give you access to all of the energy, which is good to hold some back for longevity's sake, but they give you access to over 200 kilowatt hours of that pack, which is amazing for just driving around town like your normal stuff did over 400 miles range if you drive with a feather of a foot but even better is when it comes to towing you can tow a decent load and still get 200 miles of range out of these pretty realistically which is a comfortable tow range for most people so that's one of the really cool things about this the interior is beautiful uh the denali really steps it up of course and you get these nice really nice design features and and all of the the more high-end fit and finish of it all right, so let's get started with doing the swap. The tools that you'll need to do this are pretty simple, basic tools most people already have, but it's a 10 millimeter socket or 10 millimeter wrench, uh, and then you'll need a 13 millimeter. That's definitely gonna need to be on a socket with an extension just to reach down to a uh, tie down bracket that holds the front edge of the battery down. Then for safety's sake, always wear something like some kind of rubber gloves so that you don't uh, accidentally make contact with one, the battery acid out of the old lead acid battery, and two, potential for electrical shock, which is not a high risk, but somewhat of a risk. Then the other thing we always suggest is wearing some kind of you know, eye protection. For the same thing, it's battery acid on the old battery that we're concerned about with that. Let's go ahead and show you how to do it. First thing you're gonna do, of course, after you open the front is remove this plastic trim panel here. The battery is gonna be right underneath. And to remove it, there are some uh, pop rivet type connectors all along the sides that you need to just lift up and they'll all snap out. There's a couple at the back we already had loosened, but they're right here and here. So those ones are a little bit tougher. Once you get the fronts off, then you can kind of get your finger under there and pull it up. Then that panel will just come out and you can set that off to the side. So the next thing we're gonna do with the top open is actually disable the high voltage system. This has a little lock and then you pinch and slide after you've unlocked it. That'll dis actually disengage the high voltage battery pack so that we're, while we're removing the 12 volt battery, there's no chance that the 12, these power lines coming from the DC to DC converter are energized by the high voltage pack. Then we're gonna take off the negative terminal on the battery using the 10 millimeter socket. Just loosen and then it will come up. There's a little connector on the side here for the shunt that monitors current going in and out for the car's sake. So unlock that connector and remove it. So that allows you to move this cord more out of the way. Next, we will disconnect the positive by removing the top lid. Down here, there's a 10 millimeter socket for that. So once we have this lug loosened, we can detach the clamp on the side of the assembly here that clamps it down to the top of the battery and then just let that sit loose here. Now we're gonna remove a 13 millimeter bolt from right here, which holds this battery tie down bracket. Before we do that, it's a good idea to pull this Christmas tree connector up. So once you remove that Christmas tree connector, then you may need to start with a wrench on this one just because it takes a lot of torque at first just to break it free. Then you can switch over to your power tool if you'd like. So once that 13 millimeter is off, then this bracket on that side, it just hooks in so you can lift it up and then slide it away from you like that. And that'll release off of the hook on that side. 
Then the last thing holding the battery down is this front foot tie down, which is a 13 millimeter bolt. Once you take, once you loosen that, you can lift the whole plastic assembly up. So now we're gonna lift the battery up and it's very heavy, the lead acid battery. So if you feel so inclined, it's a good idea to put something here to protect just in case you end up uh, setting the battery down as you come up with it. All right, let's weigh these batteries to compare. Here is the OEM lead battery, and that weighs in at a honking 50 plus pounds. And then here is the H7 lithium from OMU, and that is almost 15 pounds. So you're at a third of the weight with this battery. Way easier to install and uninstall, but also, you should never really have to do that with this battery because once you've put it in, it'll last a very long time. All right, let's install this battery. Just need to get this positive breakout board kind of up and out of your way. And the battery. We'll go down and rest in the same cradle. We'll put the front bracket, foot bracket back in place there. That just goes straight in. Then snug down that 13 millimeter. Next, we'll put the top tie down bracket back on. And this is just gonna be the reverse. You make sure it hooks in on the, the driver's side there and then bring it over to secure on the passenger side. So once it's hooked in place, we can bring it over here. Bring in the 13 millimeter bolt. and then tighten that down. Now with that in place, we can put this Christmas tree connector back where it was. And then let's make sure the smaller of these two wires is going underneath because that's gonna plug into the shunt connector on the negative terminal. Now we can remove the caps so on new batteries, we should always leave, leave your uh, plastic terminal covers in place until the last minute, because that will help prevent any kind of short from happening while you're working with the battery. So now we'll put the positive terminal in place. It's just gonna, once you get things aligned, it'll just slide straight down. Then you can reconnect this connector here slide that lock back in and then tighten the terminal. Now, before we connect the negative terminal on the battery, we're actually gonna unlock or relock the safety loop for the high voltage. So you just press this back in. And then relock it by pressing the red tab in. Now the high voltage loop is engaged again. So now as the 12 volt comes back online, it's actually gonna be able to re-energize from the high voltage battery pack right away. So then we will also put this cover on just to keep things from potentially touching that shouldn't. Negative terminal comes back here. We'll remove the cap, replug the shunt, sensor wire, lock that, and then we'll connect it. So with this last connection, 
try to go kind of line it up and then press down swiftly so that it doesn't spend a lot of time barely touching because that will create some arcs. And beware that your car alarm may shoot off right when you reconnect. It also may not. So now that that is on, we will snug that tight. Then the last step will just be to put the plastic cover back on and it goes back on the same way it came off. Just gonna line it up and push all the snaps down. Make sure you get your rubber out of the way so it doesn't pinch it. And once all of those are snapped in place, then you're good to go. So there you have it. This GMC Sierra Denali EV is now upgraded with a 12 volt Ohm U lithium battery. That'll give it tons of service life, it sheds a few pounds of weight as well as you saw on the scale. And you can also even access the battery with an app through the Bluetooth BMS and check on things like voltage and current going in and out. That's very cool. The process is not too difficult. This should be maybe a 15 minute swap really. You can get these batteries online right now at omu.com. We have both a lithium and sodium version of the battery for this vehicle. It's the H7 sized battery. If you want to reach out to us for support, uh, go to our webpage support.omu.com or email us at support at omu.com. We always love hearing from you and look forward to helping you out. We appreciate you watching and as always, enjoy your cars.